I really want to read this thing for you back here on the Korea. Today we have the Green Fontaine. You might be wondering where is the slight of this in? Well, it's here, but it's going to be in another video because why not? <laughs> the front, uh, it says Supreme Back Fontaine playing cards with their F logo. Get the F out. <laughs> uh, it says distributed by Fontaine cards. Blah, blah. On the one side, the other side, distributed by one. That's the same thing. Top says Fontaine. The bottom says one of five thousand. First edition green. Fontainecards.com. Designed by Zach Mueller. I would say if I designed something like this, I would not put my name on it. Like, hey, I designed this beautiful thing. Really, he didn't design anything. We'll get into that. The back, you see the back design, no seal. On the flap, you get the Fontaine spade pip. And it's a standard tuck case. Yay. Inside, you get a blank card. And there's your back design. It's actually not a bad green color. It's kind of like an olive green. And then you get an ad card. It says the same thing as a tuck case. Font first edition green. One of 5,000 Fontaine playing cards. And then designed by Zach Mueller. And the back design, of course, very simple. The Joker is, they say Fontaine. With an F in the corner. In green. And the other one, same thing. And the Ace of Spades, it says Fontaine. <laughs> in the green. And everything else is completely standard. <laughs> I'm having a little bit of fun with this one. <laughs> Anyways, um, yes, this cost me way too much money. It cost me like 50 bucks. I was not thrilled with that. But, you know what? I decided, screw it. I'm not going to let just the resellers have these decks or all these flourishers, cardists. I, I, I decided, you know what? I'm going to have it too. I don't care. As long as I'm not paying hundreds of dollars for it. Now, I don't have the pink one. I don't really care for the pink one. Apparently, not too many people like that one. <laughs> not as many people like that one because it's still available here and there. And I can understand why. I'm not a big fan of the color pink because it seems very similar to the white color. Now, um, and I will say this much. You know, I, I am critical about the design aspects of this deck because the F logo is just something that he was, you know, took off an Apple program. Fontaine, the name Fontaine is not original. He stole that from somebody. I forgot who exactly, but somebody was telling me about that, that he basically took that name from something. And the whole idea, Supreme Back and everything, is to kind of copy the Supreme brand. And my biggest criticism is the releases. The green Fontaines, by the time I got the email, went to the website, they were all extinct. They were they didn't exist. They were sold out. And the slight edition, same thing. And there's 10,000 slight editions, and they were gone. And even worse, he released them at 2.45 a.m. Central Time, my time. So I didn't even know about it until the next morning when I got up. And they were long gone. They were sold out in minutes. It's ridiculous. And why? It's because all these greedy resellers are buying them by the brick. And they're buying bricks and bricks of them so they can resell on eBay for hundreds of dollars. Or five, ten times the price, whatever it is. Like, as you can see, 50 bucks for a $15 deck. And that's cheap compared to some of the other people that are selling it elsewhere on eBay, I'm sure. I mean, some people are asking for like $500 for a Red Fontaine, the original one. Are you kidding me? $500? It's a freaking deck of cards. Not a very impressive one, by that matter. Uh, for that matter. Well, at least those ones were easier to get. Like, I would prefer almost if he just did Kickstarter. That way, at least people had a, an opportunity, a fair opportunity, to get them. As opposed to releasing them in the middle of the night. At a time that's inconvenient to anyone outside of Asia. <laughs> and, uh... And, you know, it's just... I don't know, it's just a horrible release. And also, it would be a hell of a lot better if there was limitations. If people can buy like a brick max, then it would be a lot easier to find. But Zach Mueller doesn't care about you or me. Zach Mueller only cares about the money. He only cares about raking in the money. He doesn't care if he pisses people off. He doesn't care if he can get the deck or not. He's laughing all the way to the bank. So that is that. Um... I'm spitting on it, apparently. <laughs> Whoops. That's what I think of it. <laughs> Ironically. No, not really. But, um, 
I think it's it's not a horrible deck. It handles pretty nicely. Bicycle stock, Ericus and Finnis, as far as I know. Um, maybe even a crust stock, pretty thin nonetheless. Um, it's just you know I I'm just not a huge fan of Zach Mueller or his artistic ability for playing cards, grace in the least, and his sales tactics more than anything. But outside of that, I mean the the deck is it's nothing overly special, but it's not horrible. And I don't even feel like reading it. Like, I don't know how I could read this. But that is that. Comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Stay tuned for the slight deck review. And check out collectiblepointcards.com. Use the code VJZ32. Save 10% on your order. Comment, rate, subscribe. See you next time. Thanks for watching.